Hey, this is Nultzer, and this is a continuation of our strategy talk. This week, we're discussing the Cruiser. Now, the Cruiser is sort of a jack-of-all-trades, master of none, and believe me, that is more true than I would like it to be. Having said that, you've got to convert these consumables into captures and kills. Otherwise, play another type. Play a destroyer. Play a battleship. They don't rely on consumables converting kills. It's helpful, but it's not imperative. Cruisers have to. Now, I am an American cruiser. My playstyle is try and take advantage of islands because I have an arc that can fire over them. Use radar to detect targets that are vulnerable. Maybe a DD who's moving forward too fast and maybe something in a smoke cloud. If I feel like I'm being detected or a friendly is being detected by an unspotted target, radar is good for that too and try and convert that radar window and it gets wider and wider and wider for the New Orleans I think it's 15 or 20 seconds that's about two gun cooldowns for the Baltimore it's about 20 25 that's about three or four gun cooldowns for the Des Moines that's about 40 seconds and man that's that's three or four kills right the Des Moines is very powerful with radar so for the New Orleans I can't really kill one person with my single gun system under radar. I need to communicate to my team when I'm using it. I would love for Wargaming to put an auto communication tool for when you're using a big cooldown like radar or hydroacoustic or defensive fire. Maybe not speed boost, but the cooldowns that affect your teammates, I think it is just natural for those callouts to exist. Now we look at the deployment, 80% of my team's going A, so we know what's going to happen. The enemy is going to be able to push freely through D, and they're going to come up a rear. So we need a couple people to volunteer to stave off this aggressive push by the enemy. I just happen to be the person in charge of this. And as an American cruiser, I want to find an island, fire from it, deny line of sight, and exploit my APHE ratio. If I see a broadside target, I'm firing AP. It's really that simple. If the target is not broadside, I am firing HE. Clearly the Cleveland vulnerable AP. He's moving away slightly, so we're elevating our gun, but he's about 30 knots. The dynamic crosshair is scaled to 30 knots, so I can almost go one-to-one -one with my aiming, and it'll work out pretty well. Obviously I'm detected right now, and I'm panicking, move forward. Avoid the shot, avoid the shot, line of sight. Don't go too far because I want to still fire. It's all about being aggressive. And thankfully, half of the island is able to absorb a little bit of the shots. Now we're just going to continue to protect this flank. The enemy probably expects all my team to be at A and they're just going to roll over this side. Well, I've got a couple plans if that is the case. One. Use the island to block line of sight and continue to punish. We will wear down the enemy and eventually some of the teammates that are stragglers will recognize and exploit them. It also seems that the enemy team might be over rotating a little bit. Now I do have a vulnerability where someone could delay a push down the center and if that's a battleship, boy, I'm screwed because I don't have torpedoes to deal with him. But, based on the deployment of the enemy, it looks like the battleships are not going down the center. That's a very rare play, honestly, that a battleship would go down the center. It provides me a couple things, though. If the enemy rotates too far too fast, I can exit out. And usually, the team tries to stay with each other. They probably will have a vulnerable soft spot in between the western flank and the eastern flank. And this enemy Mogami showing too much side. He probably didn't recognize that I was right here and could hit every shot. I'm spotted, so the alarm bells are going off. I see that it is an enemy Agnivoy, and I have to try and slow him down. The enemies who can see me are going to fire on me. I've got to push forward and try and reestablish line of sight blockers in the islands. And doing that... I need to also work on the Agnivoy because he, he's making it appear that he wants to kill me or try to and he wants to push with his team. 
he's absolutely a little bit overzealous in this approach because I'm a cruiser. I'm literally designed to counter you. I can avoid your torpedoes fairly easily, and I've got the speed to get out of dodge quick. That enemy Bismarck, though, secondaries are going off. I should have already switched to HE, though. A broadside DD will not work out for cruiser AP. And it works out. Teammate takes him out. Good job, King George. We can return fire on the enemies, and they can't see me any longer. So it's really obvious once you see the playstyle of each cruiser, exactly what you're trying to do. Americans use the islands to block line of sight, fire over the islands because you have an arc that allows you to do that. You've got good AP, good HE. You don't have any torpedoes though, so don't rely on brawling. You don't ever want to be in a brawling scenario because you're just going to lose most of the time if they've got torpedoes or they've got a lot of health. Yeah, your AP's cool, but it's not that cool. So clearly the enemy's trying to push forward fast, detect me. I'm going to push forward into the enemy that's defending their main, their base, and I'm going to use it to line aside that island right there. This was the plan all along. The Cleveland would exit out, we would get into a position where we could exploit that. He's using AP, no way he's going to overmatch my nose. My AP, though, works pretty well against a broadside target. Not a lot of issue with that one. And we're going to continue pushing forward. The enemy has over-rotated, and there's no defense back here. It's working perfectly, and it's exactly what we tried to do. We tried to punish the people who were looking to get free kills. And this is where it's difficult as a cruiser. Cruisers rely so much on the map itself for their success. I saw that there could be a DD here, so I used my radar, and sure enough, the Fubuki's there. Teammate should be able to fire on him. I'm gonna fire on the Fiji because he's stationary, and I should eventually get enough angle to convert it to citadels. Any second now, we're gonna have enough angle to convert it. And of course, he's very low. Oh, I hate that, but it looks like we're gonna be able to kill him. He's trying to heal, doesn't mean anything. Enemy DD's dead, we capture the base, and we're still alive. Can't complain. So that was an American cruiser. Soviet cruiser, probably stay near max range, use your gun velocity, but try and slow down the enemy just as just the same. You want to stay max range though on your target. You don't need to have four or five enemies who are in range of you. You don't need to be in range of all that. If you were a British cruiser, you would probably also stay near an island, sit in your smoke, and have people target the enemy or spot the enemy so you could exploit that. Japanese cruiser could play it similarly. Use AP on the broadside, HE to set fires but I had a potential torpedo that I could send out towards the enemy. Eight to 10 kilometers is average for the Japanese, and that would, that would be useful. Don't hesitate to send as a Japanese cruiser. I do that all the time. Torpedoes for Germans and the Soviets and the British are more defensive in nature, but you can make use of them more so than others. And if I was a German, I would just rely on my jack of all trades, master of none, probably would set up in a similar position as the New Orleans, and I would just fire broadside on the enemy target. I would probably send my torpedoes at the Agnivoy as he's rotating around, but other than that, I wouldn't change a thing there. The Germans are really good at being okay at everything. They have the tools to address all the issues that might arise, and that's just the way it works out. The cruiser is absolutely tailored to the class, to the type, to the faction. French, very quick, very nimble. Probably would stay near max range for the French just because they die really quickly and they're very vulnerable to certain angles. If you are taking active AP damage as a French, you want to consider possibly being broadside versus a straight on, a bow on tank because if you're bow on, it will stick in that ship and you will you will just be murdered. You've got to tailor your playstyle depending on the cruiser. That's the best tip I can give you. They all play slightly differently for success, but they all require a teammate to support 
to some extent. It's very hard to be like the man in a cruiser because battleships can just end that in a second. This game, we did 75,000, seven citadels. The enemy was trying to push too far, too fast, and we were able to exploit them. I had teammates that were spotting for me, and I had a very powerful position, especially for an American cruiser. I hope this was useful. I hope you can have success. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.